All right. Quick story. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but it is funny. And it's also sort of emblematic of some bigger picture issue that we're dealing with with the president. This is one of those stories that that when you first see the headline, it's hard to believe. But it is a very interesting microcosm of the childish nature of the person who's in charge of the White House right now. And we've talked a lot of times about how Donald Trump in many ways is like a little kid. They bring bring him a propaganda file uh, at the White House full of positive headlines and pictures where he looks like an alpha male because that placates Donald Trump. This is kind of like how you treat a little kid. The presidential presidential daily briefings have to be reduced to it was reduced initially to just a couple pages, eventually to one page and then ultimately to a single page with two or three bullet points and one or two maps or graphs. Otherwise, Donald Trump won't read it or he'll get distracted or he'll get bored. Uh, the low attention span stuff. And there is now a new report from The New York Times where former White House doctor Ronnie Jackson says he was uh, blending cauliflower into Donald Trump's mashed potatoes in order to try to get him to eat in a slightly more healthy manner. And this is not like an investigative scoop that may or may not be true. Ronnie Jackson straight up said this to The New York Times during an interview, and this was part of a bigger program. Apparently, uh, Ronnie Jackson wanted Trump to lose 10 or 15 pounds. He wanted to bring in an exercise bike or an elliptical to the White House. He wanted to make ice cream more difficult for Donald Trump to get his hands on. And yes, he was putting cauliflower into the mashed potatoes of Donald Trump. Now, this is not breaking news in the sense that this doesn't affect the lives of people. Trump's coronavirus response is atrocious, regardless of what is getting mixed into his mashed potatoes. This is not about the geopolitical embarrassment that is Donald Trump on a daily basis. But it is yet again another one of those little details that shows us that at every level, at the micro, at the macro and everywhere in between, Donald Trump is like a child and people around him deal with him like people people often deal with children. I actually know people raising kids who hide cauliflower in mashed potatoes, who make pizzas out of cauliflower crusts instead of actual pizza dough, who will blend red peppers and put them into marinara sauce when they make pasta for their kids, much the same way that Donald Trump is being handled here. And when I saw the headline, I assumed it was an absolute and total joke. It's all too real. This is real. It's not about fat shaming. This is about nothing other than in every way. World leaders deal with Trump like dealing with a little kid. The people who need to brief Trump at the White House deal with him like the low attention span little kid that can only focus on stuff for a couple minutes at a time. There is nothing about dealing with Trump that is like dealing with an adult. It's all like dealing with a little kid. When Donald Trump goes overseas, he has to be managed like a kid because he'll get bored at meetings with world leaders, the ones he's invited to. He's constantly on his phone. His attention drifts to a television with Fox News on it at the back of the room. It would be really great to have a president who doesn't have to be treated like a child all the time, who's the adult in the room. And, you know, cauliflower and mashed potatoes, it's an almost irrelevant tip of the iceberg, but it all is part of managing Trump like the little kid he behaves as. And by the way, it, it is is a little bit of cauliflower in the mashed potatoes actually going to help Donald Trump much when he's obsessed with KFC and fast food? I'm just asking the question. I get that something is better than nothing, but I just don't know if mixing in a florid of cauliflower Florida or Florette? I guess I'm never sure. It, mi mixing in a piece of, or, or two of cauliflower into Donald Trump's mashed potatoes is going to do too much for him one way or the other. Bizarre. The, these are the times that we are living in. I want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Vincero Watches. They're giving my audience 15% off your entire order when you go to davidpackman.com slash watch. Maybe you don't usually wear a watch and you've been thinking about looking for one to elevate your look or you've been thinking about replacing the one you have, check out Vincero. It's an American company. All of their watches are built in small batches from high end materials. They look amazing and they look like something you'd spend a lot of money on. But every Vincero watch ranges from one hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars. I went on their website and picked out the Kairos in white and silver. Really love the look, the combination of the white face 
and the uh, beige band really love this one. They also sent me the Kairos limited release gold reserve set, totally different style. This one would make a fantastic gift for a couple people uh, I can think of in my family. Anytime you see me wearing a watch on the show, I'm wearing a Vincero watch. Go through their collection. I know you'll find something you like and you'll get 15% off when you go to davidpackman.com slash watch.